Uh, uh, uh. Don't turn that dial. This is the right station if you want to hear about Jonathan Thomas and his Christmas on the moon. There are travelers three who are strong and brave, who have given their promise that they will save poor Santa Claus and bring him back and help him on with his toy sack. You know who the travelers are, of course? It's the man in the moon and Gorgonzola the horse and Jonathan Thomas. He's the good little boy who's got to find Santa or there won't be a toy because the Squeebobblium stole Santa away and he's got to be rescued before Christmas Day. They really have had the awfulest time. Their task is not easy and I'm glad it's not mine. They're far on the road to Squeebobblium land and if they ever get there, it'll be pretty grand. But you know, they've been bothered a lot by a witch who rules o'er the land of Rumpelstitch. She's brewed her magic to make a bad spell. And everyone knows it's worked quite well, that is, until the good fairy queen came along and spoiled her terrible scheme. Oh, she's helped them a lot, because she's wise. She's kept them safe from the dragon's eyes. And in the nightmare forest so dark and deep, where the witch made Jonathan Thomas fall to sleep, she woke him up with a magic charm. I'm sure she won't let them come to harm. Well, as they journeyed along, right on their path, they met a lion who was so filled with wrath he hated to be told that he was lion. And he said if they called him that, he'd bite off their head. So they called him Ojigra, and he shook his mane and said, That's better, I like that name. <laughs> and he asked them to dine with a very broad smile. So they dined with the lion and rested a while. Then he gave them a gift. It was a box full of growls to frighten the witch and give her the howls. But soon they thanked him and wished him good day, and then they met the elf king by the side of the way. Just then the old witch flew up on her broom. She'd come for the elf king. It looked like his doom. But they opened the box and let out a growl, and the witch flew away with a terrible howl. Of course, the elf king was glad, and he gave them a key. He said, it's a present to you from me. In the wall of doors, it will open the way that you'll find the right door I'll hope and pray. Well, they found the wall that was ever so long, but the door they went through was the door that was wrong. They're in looking glass land, and strange it may seem, they're now on their way to meet Alice, the queen. <laughs> umberty, mumberty, quickly speak, eh? and say your say, my little squeak. I'm not a little squeak, if you please. I'm Jonathan Thomas, that's who I am. Of course, of course. <laughs> but that's much worse than squeak, <laughs> which I think much better. <laughs> it's easy to say, <laughs> most anyway, and it rhymes with any old letter. <laughs> My gracious sakes to goodness, stop this fiddle-faddle and state the facts. Well, if it's facts you want, it's facts you get. <laughs> the desert is dry and the sea is wet. <laughs> Mountains are high. And valleys are low. It's impossible to hurry and yet go slow. Oh, <laughs> goodness! <laughs> In the year of 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue. <laughs> In 1776, Paul Revere was up to some tricks. Whatever are you talking about? I'm stating facts. That's what you said, and I'm getting them all right out of my head. <laughs> yeah. In 1513, a ma Mr. Balboa discovered the blue Pacific shower. <laughs> yeah, I'm finding my mind a little bit worn. I can't think of the date that I was born. Oh, stop it, stop it, stop it, before I go crazy. We didn't come here to listen to dates. We want to see Queen Alice. Yes, we want to see Queen Alice. And why didn't you say so before you spoke? Hmm? Instead of standing there attempting to joke, just follow your nose right down this hall <laughs> till you come to the room where she's holding a ball and you'll find the guard and just give him your card and wait till you're invited in. <laughs> yeah, and try your might to be polite, for if you don't, it'll be a sin. Well, now, that's more like it. Yes, sir. And thank you, please, Mr. Mad Hatter. <laughs> you're welcome, of course. 
That's what I say. But if you don't have to go... <laughs> then why don't you stay? Oh, oh, look, Mr. Man on the Moon. <laughs> Goodness gracious to Jiminy Crickets. What was that? Yes, what was that? <laughs> well, upon my word, <laughs> it's only a bird. <laughs> no reason to be alarmed. <laughs> oh, look, Mr. Man on the Moon, it is a bird. But it's flying backwards. My gracious, who ever heard of a bird oh, flying backwards? He's the Jabberwocky bird. <laughs> and you can take my word, flying backwards is his style. <laughs> he flies very slow, even slower than you go. <laughs> About 25 hours to the mile. <laughs> Goodness, but why does he fly backwards? Well, it's all in the knowing. <laughs> he doesn't care where he's going. He just wants to see where he's been. <laughs> oh, well, that's the funniest kind of a bird I ever heard of. We'd better hurry, Jonathan Thomas. <laughs> if we're going to see the queen. Oh, yes, that's right. Well, goodbye, Mr. Mad Hatter. Maybe we'll see you again very soon. <laughs> that's just fine. <laughs> Maybe we could dine on oyster shells and sand. <laughs> and for an extra treat, <laughs> we'll have spinach with the meat. <laughs> Just to think if it makes me feel so grand to think of that. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> yeah, goodbye, goodbye. goodbye. <laughs> oh, Jiminy G, my gracious. Oh, wonder why they call him the Mad Hatter, Mr. Man in the Moon. Because he's as nice as nice can be. And he doesn't look mad to me. Of course not, Jonathan Thomas. Nobody can ever look mad. They have to act mad. <laughs> and then they should be on a stage because that's the only place to act. Oh. There's the door, Jonathan Thomas, but I don't see any guard. Maybe he's inside having a good time at the Queen's party. You're probably right by Jiminy Cricket. <laughs> so I guess we'd better knock and see if anybody answers. Go ahead, Jonathan Thomas. Knock on the door. All right. My goodness to gracious. Well, somebody said come in, so I guess we'd better, don't you think, if you please? That's just what we'll do. Oh, hello! Hi ho, hi ho, welcome to Looking Glass Land. We're happy to see that you've come for tea. Welcome to Looking Glass Land. Us, Mr. Man in the Moon? I guess they must. They're all looking at us. How do you do? And if I were you, which I'm not, as everyone knows, I'd bow as low as you can go. And this is the way it goes. Your Majesty Alice, what a beautiful palace. And I'm glad you're looking well. It's quite a treat to meet a queen, even more than I can tell. You mean... I'm supposed to say that, if you please? Of course you are. So go ahead. But if you don't, you'll lose your head. But uh, I, I can't remember what you said. You don't have to remember. Just speak the verse. That's very simple. It could be much worse. But I don't know the verse, if you please. Then what do you know? If you don't know something, you'll have to go. You can't meet a queen if you're going to be mean. But I'm not mean. I just don't know the word. Uh-huh. Oh, you'd better go. Wait, Prime Minister. It is my royal command that Master Jonathan Thomas and the man in the moon be allowed to stay. But, Your Majesty, you plainly heard the foolish boy doesn't know a word. Well, then give him time to learn. Oh, thank you very much, if you please. Are you Queen Alice? Why, yes, of course. And I'm glad you came. We've been waiting a long, long time for you, know. You have? Well, what do you know about that? I know a great deal about that. And a lot of other things, too. But how in the world could you wait for us if you didn't know we were coming? Why, it's very simple, of course. I just remembered it. You mean you remembered that we were coming? Why, yes. But how could you remember we were coming? If you didn't know that we were coming, because we didn't even know it ourselves till we got here. Of course. But then how could you remember, if you please, your majesty? In looking glass land, 
Nasty Jonathan Thomas. We always remember things before they happen. It's very convenient, you know. Oh. And you're just in time for tea. Following which, I and my Prime Minister will tell you a secret. Oh, that would be nice if you please, Your Majesty. What is a secret? If I told you now, it wouldn't be a secret, would it? But I can give you a hint. What, please? I'm going to help you rescue Santa Claus in plenty of time for Christmas. Oh, that's very nice of you, Your Majesty. Oh, but first we must have our party. So bring on the bread and butter and sugar and strike up the music and let everyone be gay. For this is the court of Alice, of Alice, of Alice, and this is my very royal palace. So dance and sing and have fun. We'll make lots of cheer for Christmas this year, so join in the fun, everyone. <laughs> Well, what do you know about that? Jonathan Thomas and the Man in the Moon having a party at the Palace of Good Queen Alice. And what's this about a secret to rescue Santa Claus? I wonder whatever can it be. But I just guess we'll have to wait and find out in the next story of Jonathan Thomas and his Christmas on the Moon, won't we? You don't forget to listen. I won't. (laughs) 